Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today I'm going to be giving you some Katniss. Baby, baby. Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and I'm going to give you some romance recommendations that take place in college. I've never made a college romance video, which is surprising to me because I've been in college the entire time I've been on my booktube channel the past five years. I've been enrolled in college, so I'm surprised I haven't made one of these videos yet. For whatever reason, one of the characters or both of the characters in these couples um, are in college and there are scenes while they are in college, if that makes sense. <laughs> First is Easy by Tamara Weber. This one talks a lot about sexual assault, so please be aware of that before you go into this. Um, but basically our heroine in here, she gets almost sexually assaulted one night after a party and this guy saves her, kind of like kicks this man, kicks his butt because he's on top of her, he like beats him up, makes him go away, um, and she is eternally grateful. And then she starts to see him around campus. Like her eyes are finally open to this man and she realizes he's like in a lot of her classes and he, she sees him a lot and she becomes like kind of like interested in him and he's kind of like the emo type, which she's like the preppy cheerleader type, you know? This book is also about her learning to defend herself and stand up for herself, um, even though she's really scared and really traumatized by what almost happened to her. She's learning to stand up for herself and protect herself in those situations if they were to ever happen again. So I think that this book is also very informative. For that fact. Next is Wait For You by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Um, the first couple books in this series, which is the Wait For You series, um, a few of them. I think the first three take place in college. This is the romance between Avery and Cameron and they are neighbors with their apartments. Avery is a new a student at this college and Cam is the previous soccer superstar. He's not on the team anymore. You figure out why when you read the book. And so their apartments are right next to each other and they uh, slowly develop a friendship. Um, Avery is very closed off and just wants to go to college to get a degree. She doesn't want to make friends because of some traumatic things that have happened in her past. But then Cam ends up breaking down all of her walls and they become very close and it grows into something more. This one is definitely angsty very new adult-esque so um if that's not your vibe i don't know if this one would be the best for you <laughs> but i really enjoyed this one i think it's really fun um i liked jla's writing and in, in this series in these books next is the year we fell down by serena bowen the first book in the ivy year series this is the romance between corey and adam so corey had a spinal cord injury um and so she is now a wheelchair user and she is new to college. I believe she's a freshman. She gets put in the handicap accessible dorm on campus. And then one of the rooms next to her is Adam's room. He broke his leg or something happened to his leg to where he has to walk around with a boot, I'm pretty sure, or a cast. He has to use crutches. And he's in there for only a short period of time until the cast comes off, you know? Um, and he got injured in a hockey uh, accident, I want to say, like a hockey game or something. And Corey used to be a uh, hockey player too. Um, and she's really upset that she can't play anymore because of her injury. But the two of them slowly become friends and it develops into more. Um, and they really connect on their love for hockey of all things. Um, and they banter a lot. The banter in here is great. I really love this one. It was really cute and really sweet. Um, and I haven't continued on with the rest of the books and I know I need to. Next is The Royal We by Heather Cox and Jessica Morgan. This is a royalty romance that is inspired by William and Kate's romance. Except our heroine in here is not from England. She's actually from America. Um, and the royal prince in this situation meets her while they're in college together in the UK. That's how they become friends. And this book takes place over years. So the whole book does not take place in college. Like they grow up, like grow up throughout the book. And so like, it just starts with them in college and then them being friends during this whole time in college. And then afterward, them finally realizing that they're in love with each other. This one was really sweet. I thought it was a great take on a retelling of William and Kate because back in middle school, I was obsessed with William and Kate after uh, watching the royal wedding, like their royal wedding. I loved reading this when it first came out. I don't know if I'm ever gonna read book two, but um, the parts that take place in college are really fun because they're constantly playing jokes on each other. And um, like, they're not really close at first. They kind of like have animosity towards each other at the beginning, but then they slowly realize like, oh, they're more than just what the media or other people say about them. Um, so I really liked reading about that. Next I have Rush by Katie Steiner or the whole Palm South University series. I've only read book one though. So this series is about like a group of friends and each chapter is about a new perspective. Um, it's like 
eight, six different perspectives in these books, all taking place in college during like sorority parties, frat parties, just college life in general. Um, and like, it's kind of like a TV show where each chapter is like, each book is like a different season of a TV show. And that's all I can really say. <laughs> You deal a lot with Greek life in here, which isn't really my thing, so that's why I didn't vibe well with that. Um, but I know that people love this series and it's very addicting, so if you want like a fun, over-the-top, angsty college romance, I check out the Palm South University series. Next is Getting Schooled by Christina C. Jones. Reese in here is the TA teacher's assistant to her mother's college course. So her mother is a professor and she's her mom's TA. And so she often grades stuff for her mom and some of those things are essays. And she ends up like really loving and vibing with one of these students in this class and his writing, like she loves it. But then she meets him in person, like the student in person and she does not get along with him. Like they do not get along at all. But then their hatred turns to lust and love and all that jazz. Um, but it was really cute, their banter in here was amazing. I loved this one. And I really also love this because you have more of a unconventional student. Um, the hero, I believe he's an undergrad and he's in his late 20s. And so I loved reading about an unconventional student because um, I'm an unconventional student. So um, I really related to that. Next I have Misadventures of a College Girl by Lauren Rowe. Okay, so Zoe here, I believe is a college freshman at UCLA. And she really wants her V card taken. <laughs> um just to have it taken like she just wants it done and so she's like okay i need to find a guy on college campus who is a playboy so that he can just get it done with like i don't want a relationship i just want a guy to do it with me for the first time and then be done and then be on my merry way be happy about it you know she's not looking for a relationship and so she's at this party she comes across tyler who is the ultimate playboy and she's like you're perfect um let's go let's go have some fun. He's like, okay, I'll have fun with you. And then she lets it slip that she's never been with anybody before. And he's like, whoa, hold the brakes. No, I'm not doing that. I do not get with people who have never been with anybody before. And she is like, okay, I'll go find someone else. Bye. <laughs> and he's like, what? Like he's like shocked that a woman doesn't want to be with him. And so then he becomes even more like infatuated with her and like takes the time to go find her out, seek her out and be like, okay, I'll teach you how to do these things, okay? Like I'm gonna teach you how to be with somebody and it's really good. Next I have Voyeur by Fiona Cole. This one is probably the most taboo from this list of books. <laughs> okay, so our hero in here has been going through a lot in his life recently. He has a lot of trauma. I'm not gonna talk about why. Oh my gosh, these dogs won't stop barking. Please excuse them. <laughs> <laughs> so our hero in here has been going through a lot. Um, he has a lot of past trauma. I'm not going to talk about what it is. You can read the book to find out, but there are a few trigger warnings. So I think I have them listed on my Goodreads review if you want to check it out. He like goes to this club called Voyeur to watch people. You can watch people get together. You know, like you can like watch them through like a screen and watch them get together and pay for it and have fun, you know, just watching people. And so he's become really infatuated with this one girl at the club and he requests to see her like through the screen. Like she doesn't know who he is. Like he requests to see her quite often. Um, and he's become like, kind of like obsessed with her. And so he's a college professor and who's sitting in the front row of his lecture, first day of college the girl. And then her job is also with his department in college. And so they have to spend some close time together. And she doesn't know that this man has been watching her this whole time. And this one gets very hot and wow. it's very good. <laughs> Next I have Jock Row by Sarah Nye. This is the first book in her Jock Hard series. So Scarlett in here, um, she decides to go to a party with some of her girlfriends at one of the um, sport houses. There's like sorority, it's like a row of all like fraternity and sorority houses. And the same thing goes with um, sport player houses. So there's like a baseball house. And so she goes to this baseball house with her friends and the guys who live there, the baseball guys are making up all these lies to try and get with these women. And Scarlett is an avid baseball player. She's like, uh, y'all didn't win the playoffs like this team did. Like she's like telling her friends like they're just trying to get in your pants. They're lying. So they get the captain and it's like, hey, you need to kick this girl out because she's ruined the mood. She's ruining the vibe. She's got to leave. And so he kicks her out and she's like, well, I'm not going to leave my friends in the party by themselves. I'm not going to ditch them. 
And so he's like, okay, well, I have to be stand out here with you then to make sure that you don't go inside because they'll be on my butt if I let you back in. They spend like the rest of the night sitting on the porch talking to each other. And every week they are in the same spot talking to each other all night long on this porch um, and they become friends. And it's so cute, it turns into more. And I loved this. It was really cute, really sweet. I really need to read the rest of the books in the series because I think all the other ones take place in college too. And lastly, I have Nerdgasm by Kimberly Reese. Um, this one is about Theo and Addie. Theo is a TA, a teacher's assistant for this guy in college. And Addie is one of the students sitting in the class. And so right when she sees Theo, sees her TA, she's like, I, I want him. And she goes after him. It is so cute. Theo is one of my favorite heroes ever. I love him. He's an innocent, innocent hero. Um, and he also uh, grew up with a severe stutter. Um, he's gone through speech therapy to kind of like control it a little bit more, but it uh, comes out when he's really nervous, especially around women. And Addie thinks he is the cutest thing ever and thinks he is so attractive. And I love her and him together. It's just so cute. I love this one so much. So there you have it. Those were 10 romance books that take place in college that I really enjoyed reading. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things that you can leave me any sports related emoji down below. I feel like a few of these books that I talked about deal with sports. Um, so yeah, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.